Okay, these are some uh, nucleus boxes uh, that I built, and this is what we're going to build today. Um, they're off a plan on uh, bsource.com, uh, uh, a, a five-frame nucleus box, and you can get the plans there uh, if you need those. I'll show you, show you the plans here in just a little bit, but you know uh, they do a good job on that website, so go there to get your plans You know if you want to build one of these. I changed it up a little bit. They didn't have this edging around it, but other than that, I think they're uh, pretty much exactly the same. Um, but it's just got a, a lid. You drop your drop your frames down in there. Got a little opening here in the front. All right, let's get started. All of this comes from one sheet of plywood. Let's get started. Okay, here are the plans, and these are available on bsource.com, which I have no relationship with, but bsource.com, uh, that's just where I got these. So if you're interested in dimensions, there's a cut sheet that comes with it, and then the assembly diagram. They do a really nice job on that website, so if you need these, go there and get, and get them. All right, so on the cut sheet here, it's really made to cut this way when you're making your cuts and uh, my shop is set up where I need to be cutting a long way so I'm going to do it a little bit different um, you'll notice that as we go through it the first thing I'm going to do is get the sides cut out and so I'm going to set my saw to ten and a quarter and I'm going to rip two pieces off of a sheet of plywood All right, next we're gonna cut the top pieces. So I'm gonna set my saw to nine inches and I'm gonna cut one piece and then I'm gonna follow that up by cutting the bottoms at eight and a half inches. All right, we're gonna cut the, uh, let's see. We're gonna cut the bottom pieces to 20 inches the top pieces to 22 and the side pieces to 19 and an eighth. All right, next I'm going to cut the fronts and backs. Uh, and they're all seven and a half by nine and a half, so I'm going to get all those cut. I'm set at nine and a half now. And I'm using the scrap from the strips um, that I just got through cutting. I was able to, uh, out of one length, I was able to get five sides. So I actually have this piece left off of one of the boards I ripped for the sides. This is the scrap I had from those three pieces. So I'm going I'm to use that to make the fronts uh, and the backs. All right, now this is the piece that I have left from the full sheet of plywood, and it just happens to be nine and a half inches wide. You know, that's gonna depend on the curve for your saw blade and you know how accurately you cut. So uh, anyway, I just got lucky and this is nine and a half, so I'm gonna cut, I've got one, two, three, four, five off of there, off my other scrap, so I'm gonna cut three off of here. All right, so here is the last two pieces of scrap I have, and I'm gonna use these to make the front cleat or the hive the hive cleat right there and I would like to the two inches to run this way uh, it'd probably be a little bit stronger but the way this scrap is I'm gonna have to run them I'm gonna have to cut them just like this so it'll be okay I would just prefer to have it the other way so if you have that option I would choose that Okay, all our parts are cut. These are our sides, our bottoms, our, no, tops, bottoms, ends, and the, uh, what do they call these? The hive cleat. Now, I don't have the little pieces cut to hold the top on because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that yet. Uh, I'm gonna wait until I get one put together. So, the next thing I've gotta do is on four of these fronts, I've got to get the entrance cut out. They don't say what size to make this door, 
uh, in the plans, but I'm going to come in two and a half inches from each end. That gives me a two and a half inch opening. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to come up three eighths of an inch. All right, and then we'll get that cut out. Okay, let's get one of these put together. Get a couple of sides, a front and a back. And if you'll set the back that direction, It'll help stabilize this a little bit. It's still kind of hard to balance it all to get it on there, but put you a little glue. Now, the one thing when you start this, you want to be sure that you get the opening at the edge of this board and not don't line up these two corners. Line up the openings down here. So line this corner up. First one. That first one's always the hardest one. Now you can turn it this way, it'll be a little bit better. Okay, now plywood, you know, a lot of times it's not flat. So you may have to, I started one end and worked my way to the other end, and that way I can twist the parts if I need to to get the plywood to line up. Be sure you line this up with the correct edge. Again, this is at the bottom, so you want this edge at the bottom. Now we'll put the bottom on, just run your bead of glue all the way around. I'm going to start right here in the back and get it straight. start working my way down one one side because the, the plywood's not lining up but if I twist as I go I can get it to Now you're kind of locked down, so this side is bowed a little bit right here, so I'm going to try to fix that in the beginning. I'm going to come to the middle, and now that side is pretty straight. Alright, now we got to put our cleats on. 
and I line them up like this, then lean them forward, and that tells me where to put the glue. Done. Now for the lid, I've changed up my lid a little bit. Um, I'm worried about it warping. You know, as this gets wet and the sun hits it, I'm afraid it's going to warp and let uh, stuff in there. So um, I took some of my scrap and I cut some strips. That are, these are an inch and a half wide, and I'm just going to run a strip all the way around it to reinforce it and keep it straight. And it really just kind of turns it into a telescopic lid, which this is probably not a necessary step, but it makes me feel better, so. And that is ready to be painted. Well, here they are finished and painted. I'm real happy with the way they turned out. I hope they, uh, they work out well in use. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.